Hey, welcome to the official Windows 8 channel and today we are comparing the speeds in Windows 8 of three browsers the Firefox version 25.0.1 that's the latest version as of December 5th 2013 comparing that to Chrome 31.0.1650.63 latest version of Chrome as of 5 December 2013 versus IE 11 Internet Explorer 11, which is also the newest browser from Microsoft. And the test that I've done is not scientific, but what I did is actually load four different pages on the web, 10 times each, and I made an average of loading time for each page. I loaded each page 10 times because sometimes on some of the pages the ads change and because some of the ads are different well you know it can change the loading time and it's uh, not really fair so by doing it 10 times I noticed that the uh, ads came up pretty much in equal proportion on each website and the articles were pretty much the same so we can actually use this as an indicator of what's uh, faster uh, the fastest browser is, by a very, very, very slight margin, Internet Explorer 11. When I loaded the pages four times, plus I also took in account the start time of the browser from the zero state to a full browser that you can actually web search the web with. Uh, the average is better on IE 11. So IE 11 is the winner but by a very small margin and uh, actually except for Firefox that is really slower than everybody else uh, Chrome and IE 11 come in we can almost say they come in pretty much at the same level the same speed so if you're using Chrome you're pretty much at the speed of IE 11 and IE 11 is quite fast if you're using Firefox, you're actually actually using a browser that is slower than the other browsers. Uh, Firefox, I think, needs to uh, be probably uh, reworked a little bit to uh, give it a little more edge. So, what are the speed times? First of all, in loading time. So, when I clicked from zero start to the uh, icon of Internet Explorer and get a full browser, and all browsers came up with the Google search page, Google Canada search page, to make sure that they take exactly the same time. So Internet Explorer actually takes 1.2 seconds from zero to google.com that I can search for something. Chrome took four seconds. So it's loading time, Chrome is a little slow. So it took four seconds from zero to Google search that I can use. And Firefox for the start time is pretty good at 2.5 seconds from zero to the start time. So here in start time from zero to a Google search, uh, IE 11 wins at 1.2 seconds. Coming second, Firefox. And last is Chrome. Its loading time is a little slow. But when we go to pages, so in IE 11, Loading the computer world uh, page took two seconds. On average, 2.01 is the average that I have. If we go to Chrome, the average for computer world is 2.03 seconds. Very close. As you can see, I don't think you can notice any difference between Chrome and IE actually here. And there's, of course, a margin of error also in here. So, you know, we can say they're pretty much the same. The slowest is Firefox. Firefox takes three seconds on average to load Computer World. So, on ComputerWorld.com, IE 11 and Chrome are pretty much exactly the same. And Firefox is slightly slower. But, you know, from 2.0, zero one or two seconds to three seconds it's not that much but Firefox does, does show that it's a little slower in uh, rendering web pages 
Then I went to the uh, yahoo.com website and loaded the page 10 times. So yahoo.com on Internet Explorer, it took 2.1 seconds on average to load. IE11 on Chrome, um, IE11, sorry, Yahoo Canada <laughs> on Chrome um, took 2.1 three seconds so it's there's a slight difference but once again between 2.1 and 2.3 you won't see any difference so pretty much the same and Firefox took 2.8 seconds to load the Yahoo page on average so once again we, we see a trend that Firefox is slightly slower than the other browsers uh, Chrome and IE 11 almost the same. The slight advantage of IE11 is uh, so small that it's kind of difficult to really say that it's faster. There is a kind of a you know a way because I've loaded 10 times and all the pages almost load faster on IE11 just by a slight margin so it's kind of a little little bit faster but not enough compared to Chrome uh, to really make a big difference here. Then I started the same test, loaded 10 times the New York Times page on IE11. Average 1.2 seconds. Loaded 10 times the New York Times page on Chrome. Loading time average 1.1 seconds slightly faster than um, IE11 actually but once again 1.2 1.1 there's really no difference here and once again we can almost say that the browsers are equal and the loading time for Firefox for the New York Times is 1.7 seconds so it's a little slower uh, you would see a difference in loading time between Firefox and Chrome and IE though. So once again, Firefox a little slower in its loading time. But you know, between 1.2 and 1, 1.1, 1.2 .1, and 1.6 seconds, it's not that much. But for, uh, it, it's interesting to see. And the last page that I uh, wanted to load is YouTube since everybody watching this video is on YouTube. So uh, I've took the regular IE11, took uh, the YouTube page, started up 10 times the YouTube page. Uh, funny thing on IE11 YouTube tends to freeze. That's the uh, bad side. But I've noticed that I don't know if it's the latest updates that what they had for Windows 8. Um, I've loaded 10 times the YouTube page on IE11 and it didn't freeze at all at this time. So I don't know if they kind of fixed it in one of the updates for Windows 8, but uh, it seems better. So YouTube, average loading time on IE11, 2.15 seconds, 2.15 seconds. On Google Chrome, the YouTube page actually takes 2.75 seconds so there's a, a, a bigger proportion here of loading time <clears throat> and of course the slowest once again Firefox that loads the YouTube page on 3.7 seconds that's a full second and a half slower than IE11 and a full second slower than Chrome so once again we see that Firefox 25.0.1 is slower now keep in mind all of these browsers have no add-ons. I have not added anything in any of the browsers to slow them down. So they are really loading at the fastest speed possible here. So uh, the winner, let's say IE11 and Chrome are equal, but the slower, and that is really easy to see in all the tests that I've done, Firefox 25, Slightly slower browser than all the other browsers, Chrome and IE11. So, like I said, nothing scientific. It's just an average of loading pages 10 times and um, comparing the loading time of each loads. 
making an average and um, also taking into account the uh, start time from zero to uh, startup when I can do a search on Google. So IE11 technically slightly faster but it's not enough that we can actually really say it's a winner, clear winner. IE11 and Chrome are equal in their speeds so Chrome is pretty good. They have actually done a better job because Chrome was getting slower and it seems that with the, new, the latest versions that they've done they've actually improved that. So uh, IE11 and Chrome are pretty much equal. If you're using Firefox you're using um, it's, it's clear to see that you're using a slightly slower browser than, every, than, than the two other ones. Um, so don't think this as a scientific fact but I think it's good enough to uh, at least see a difference in between these three browsers. If you enjoy our videos, please subscribe to our channel and you will be informed when new videos are online. If you have any comments or questions on what you've seen, let us know. Maybe you have a video or a feature of Windows 8 that you'd like us to talk about. Let us know. We'll try to uh, make that video and put it online. And uh, maybe you have that new Windows 8 machine or planning to buy one for Christmas or for um, a birthday and you're a little scared. Take a look at our videos. They're here to help you uh, learn more and more. And um, hopefully you will uh, also learn how to use Windows 8. Uh, another little thing that I'm actually working on is a uh, separate YouTube channel with Windows 8 point one lessons uh, very basic lessons from the startup how to turn on and turn off um, your computer in Windows 8 to uh, using the tile interface and going through your computer so um, that is going to uh, there's actually 10 videos online right now and they're going to be more and more as time permits so you'll have uh, kind of a full computer course for Windows 8.1 online and so I'll put uh, eventually the links on this channel so you can actually check it out. So thanks for watching and hope you come back to the official Windows 8 channel. Bye-bye.